Hey, how's it going my fellow dreamers? In today's video I'm going to show you how to set up the automatic 11.11 web UI with the deforum extension. That's the one I've been using to create all my music videos. Now you could install this on a local computer if you're having an uh, NVIDIA GPU, but I don't own one, nor do I plan to acquire one with the current prediction of soaring energy prices in Europe. Um, yeah, so up until now I've been relying on Google Colab, but for my last music video I've almost blew in for an entire month worth uh, of computing units, which is the equivalent of around 50 bucks. So I've been looking for alternatives and I've stumbled across Paperspace, a cloud computing platform which allows me to do the same thing as on Google Colab, but six times cheaper. Granted image inference is about half as fast, but I don't have to worry about wasting computing units on experiments and failed attempts. If you don't mind slower inference times, this will even work with the free plan. But the $8 Pro plan seems pretty decent so far. So let's jump in. First of all, what you need is a Paperspace account. If you don't have one already, you can sign up using the referral link in the description below and you will receive $10 in account credits on Paperspace, which you can freely use. So once you have set up your account, we are going to create a new project. The name doesn't matter, but you can add whatever you want so you can identify the project later on. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So now after we have created the project, we can create a new notebook. From here, we are going to use start from scratch. Then for the GPU, we are going to use free RTX 500. Now, if you are not on the Pro plan, this will not be available for you, but you can use the RTX 4000. It will be not quite as fast, but it will work nonetheless. For the auto shutdown timeout, we are going with six hours. That means your machine will automatically shut down after six hours, but that's not going to be an issue because you can just restart the machine after those six hours. So now we can start the notebook. After the notebook has been created, it's going to start up. So now from here, what we need to do is we need to upload the Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 notebook. So for this, we can go to the GitHub page of Engineer of Stuff and the Stable Diffusion Paper Space uh, repository. And here we are just going to download the entire repo by clicking on Download Zip. Once the zip file has uh, downloaded, we can unpack it. And in here, what we are going to need is the Stable Diffusion UI Voldemort Paperspace IPYNB file. So back in Paperspace, what we are going to do is we cl click on Upload File. And we are going to select the Voldemort Jupyter Notebook file that we just downloaded. And once the file has been uploaded, we can open up the JupyterLab environment by clicking this button in the left sidebar of the Paperspace interface. So from here, we're going to double click on the Voldemort file. And now this environment is uh, pretty similar to Google Colab. So first of all, what we will have to do is we have to uncomment the specific section uh, depending on our plan on Paperspace. So if you're on the free tier, you have to uncomment these three lines like this. But if you are on the pro plan, you have to uncomment these three lines. Once we have done this, we can execute this cell. You can do this by either clicking on the play button up here or by selecting the cell and hitting shift enter. So I'm going to run through all these. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm only going to download the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model. But if you want, you can also install the others. After you have installed the models, what we need to do is we need to clean up and restart the kernel. And then link the new downloaded models. So you can see there are other models that are going to be linked in here, which I haven't installed yet, but I have installed them in another um, project, which is why they are showing up here. So Paperspace has a shared storage 
which the models will be installed on if you are on the pro plan. So after our models are linked, what we now can do is we can launch the web UI. Perfect, now the web UI is ready and all we have to do is click on this link and it will open up a, a new tab with the Gradio web UI interface and the automatic 11.11 UI installed. So from here, you can choose your um, checkpoint, your model checkpoint you want to use and then start generating images. And you see the progress bar here. Sometimes the web UI can get stuck but if you go back to the Jupyter Lab um, interface, you can see all of the actions will be locked here. So if something gets stuck, just come back here and check if it still runs. If not, what you can do is you can go to kernel, interrupt it, and then just rerun this cell. And it will create a new instance of the web UI. So now we have set this up. What we want next is to add the Deforum Stable Diffusion extension. So for this, you can go to the Deforum Art Deforum for Automatic 11.11 Web UI repository. And this is actually quite simple, but it can look very daunting. But all you have to do actually is to copy this command, go back to the Jupyter Lab, click on the plus on the top left. Then open up a terminal, then cd into the stable diffusion web UI folder, and then copy and paste the git clone command into here and execute it. So after that is done, we can go back to the web UI cell, click on kernel, interrupt it, and then just rerun it. And once it's um, done setting up the radio app interface, just click on the link again, the old interface will be gone, but the new one is available under the new link. And now you can see the Deforum extension is available here. And now by clicking on the generate button, we can create a sample video based on the default Deforum settings. And for some reason, it's not working. One hour later. During the recording of the video, the generate button didn't work, so I was researching why that happened, and it seems like there is a new bug in the Automatic 11.11 repository that introduced some issues. So keep in mind that this whole thing, the Automatic 11.11 and the Deforum extension, are super experimental. It's a beta, and things can break. So if things are breaking, check out the issues on GitHub in the Stable Diffusion Web UI uh, repository and in the Deforum for Automatic 11.11 Web UI extension repository. Now I have fixed the issue by reverting the Web UI repository to a specific commit, which I found on GitHub. To do this, you can use the git reset cell in the Jupyter Notebook. But this is pretty advanced stuff, so if this is all too technical for you, just wait a few hours until a new update comes out. And well, now it's running. And yeah, that's about it. So now you can create your uh, Deforum animations within the Deforum tab. And all the settings are here, plus a few more, which weren't available in the Google Colab notebook. I will not go for them in this video, but if you want to know more about them, just leave a comment below. Now, after the video has been generated, you can click on the preview button here. And this will sometimes work and sometimes not. Especially for mp4 files, I found that those will not show up no matter what, so uh, here we go, here's the GIF. But for larger videos, you have to go into the Stable Diffusion Web UI content folder in the Jupyter Lab and go to Outputs, go to Image to Image, and into the Deforum folder, and then you can sort by name, and you will see the the video or the GIF file, the MP4 file that was generated is on the top. And you can just right click and download it to your desktop. If you want to try this for yourself, I have left links in the description below for everything I have went through here. As you can see, this is still a very messy um, process. So 
If you want to learn more about anything we have talked about today, like Git or, or installing different extensions to the web UI, just leave a comment below and I will try and get back to you. We are basically on the frontier here and this is all new stuff, so don't get discouraged and just have fun and try to explore and experiment with these new technologies. I see you and talk to you in the next video. Bye.